All right, so what Scion is probably going to try to do is use laser to slow him down. Oh. Uh, Which is a quick up, up throw into a knee. Dang. Mm -hmm. Scion is a player that likes to apply a lot of pressure on you, uh, just constantly trying to keep you in shield and reading your movement out of it. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's. Captain Falcon's not known for having a great out of shield game, so he's, Simon's gonna have to watch out when he shields oh, and, quick, and what he does. Oh, that was very quick for Simon, though. Yeah, uh, Simon has a lot of great um, edge guards on like space animals. He seems like he really flow charted it out, and uh, he does do a lot of hard reads though on his down throw check chases, which uh, I think he should cut out. But a he bit. usually covers himself pretty well for those. Anyway. He does. Usually, uh, good players try to co cover multiple options, even if it looks like they're doing one. I think none's a good example of that. Yeah. It makes Simon really hard to punish. All right. So that's the shield pressure I was talking about. And uh, Simon's trying to apply ledge pressure, but then Simon just stays in shield. Yeah, he's been keeping up a pretty nice lead for it. I do feel like Simon's game's a little bit, uh, I would say, unpracticed. Yeah, for sure. Um, I, I haven't seen him play in a tournament like since April, really, which is probably the last time he's played this game like more than like one hour yeah. but he managed to tie it up you know I think Simon Simon's actually one of the players that's uh he doesn't need to play that much to do well here right I mean we've seen uh RK and like blend object when they haven't when we haven't had VSB locals for people to practice at or just like time to play the game they haven't been performing as well as of late but I think Simon's always been the type of guy who just like shows up once in a while does really well and then people remember how good he is, right? Yeah, what's great about Sion is that he also has a very that dash attack was excellent insane. mind. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. yeah he's, he's got a great mind for the game. Even though he doesn't play that often, he's always thinking about it whenever he's watching. You're, you're so right about that. I think the first time I and met him. And the fact that he's also a longtime veteran of the game, too, really helps him. Yeah. Since 2006, I think. Yeah. First time I met him, guy. I was actually surprised by like a lot of his analysis on the game. He didn't strike to me as a guy who talked a lot, but then. Uh, because he was really quiet, but he definitely knows what he's talking about. That was just Ooh, insane damn, combo. beautiful knee by Simon. <laughs> Takes game one. Yeah. Uh, si Simon is really good at like going off stage to hit Falco, too. Because once Falco doesn't have his jump, it's like pretty much over for him. And uh, Simon goes back. Oh, back to Belfield. And a quick stomp by Simon. Dang. Yeah. Simon actually started the game with a standing laser, which is a bad sign. <laughs> but <laughs> Misses his uh, wave dash. Currently in Sion's game against Adam, mm -hmm. uh, he has to do at least like five times in the games. Oh, but he still won? Yeah, Dang. he still won somehow though. Dang. Oh, what? what yeah. Kind of, that's a crazy side B. He's been doing that a lot. Like, he's the only player I see that does it really. Uh, it's when a little it? bit of technique from Lord. Uh, what Lord would like to do is he'd run past you and mix up and uh, do a side B back into the ledge. Oh. Uh, catch people's, some people off guard. Yeah, I see. Looks crazy too, by the way. <laughs> so uh, it seems like Simon still has the early lead, yeah. but Simon's applying. Sion is applying the pressure. Mm -hmm. Although he some, somehow manages to get back to the center stage. Yeah, and he's got a tech chase here too. D. Oh wow. Media I don't know if you read B. that or just reacted to that. Yeah. So uh, Ty stocks again. Let's see what he does with his ability. Nothing. Wow, I'm so impressed by Simon's ability to just get out of shield pressure. Oh, yeah, it's not easy. Especially against a player like Sion, yeah. right? Oh, read that. Catching um, Sion a lot off guard with those uh, knees, too. He's getting a lot of those reads. Sion's chasing him down with uh, lasers. Now we've got another tech chase from Polo. Oh, beautiful. Oh. But he still okay. lives. Great angle. That's a big risk. Now we got an even game again. It's hard to tell the flow from it. Um, yeah, it's feeling pretty choppy. Yeah. It doesn't seem like these guys can really take any stage control. Oh, wow, that side that B. Definitely reactable. He could have shielded. Yeah, as you analyze this game further, you can really see how much Scion is pretty rusty. Yeah. Oh, he misses an edge guard. Oh, oh that's converted to a combo. He's still alive, though, because he got the reverse knee instead of the 
front court knee. Ooh, that was interesting. Yeah, coming back with the fair, yeah. just caught him off guard. It's a good mix-up. All right, back still back here. to even. Last suck. Oh, he just spammed spot dodge in the oh. corner. Didn't work out for him that time. Oh, no jump. Tries again for that side yeah. B. Not punished either. Yeah. I mean, he's got bad stage control, but he's slowly making his way back into the middle of the stage. So I'm trying to yeah. go back into center stage here. Just spacing him out, keeping yeah. himself safe. Doesn't want to get gimped here. But Simon with some crazy pressure right now. Ooh. Oh, that tournament winner. Is that going to be it? Oh, gets back on. Oh. Wow. Oh, Simon's missing so many edge guards this game. But he kind of gets to it back here. It that should be it. That should be it. Oh, oh he lets no. him back on. That could cost him. Oh, oh. that forward smash. That's unfortunate. Ooh, dang. I really felt like uh, Sion should have just forward smashed there. He didn't really have that many options. He was really yeah. down low. 